Hello, everybody. I'm here again with an amazing interview. I won't tell his name because I want him to introduce himself to you. He's one of my students on Hello Talk. He comes to my live streams. He's from India. How are you doing today? Could you introduce yourself to people at home? Yes. Thank you for having me, sir. Yes. My name is Manish and I'm from India. And mm -hmm. I have been practicing my English since 2014. Mm -hmm. And currently I work as an accountant in a private company since 2018. Mm -hmm. And I, I have two siblings, one elder brother, one elder mm -hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. My father is a farmer, farmer mm -hmm. and mother is a housewife. And okay. I'm the last born. You started studying English in 2014. And why yes, did you decide to do so? Because before that, uh, I had not good knowledge of English. So I started to, to join my CA. It's called Chartered Accountancy in India. It's a finance system. Yes. So all the books are in English. So mm -hmm. I have to read and write in English. So then I decided if you want to do something in your life, yeah. you will speak. You have to speak English or you will never be anything. So yes, I agree. So I decided to. And uh, if you speak English, it will give us a lot of opportunity to mm -hmm. talk with a lot of people. Like I'm speaking with you. You are a very kind teacher. It's my pleasure to talk to you. How old are you now? I'm 28 years old. How do you practice and study English? I practice English almost uh, three hours every day. One in the morning and two hours in the, in the night. Okay. Basically just uh, reading English newspaper and English books and mm -hmm. watching YouTube videos, mm -hmm. conversational videos. So what's the most difficult thing to learn in English for you? It's obviously speaking. Because in our uh, childhood, we have English subject, but uh, the teacher totally focused on grammar. Yes. Okay. It is. So uh, that time we didn't uh, get any chance to speak English, just grammar, grammar, grammar. You told me before that you have a favorite show that you watch to improve your English. Which show is that? Game of Thrones. It's one of my favorite shows too. Do you think that you learn more vocabulary by watching TV or by reading? I think by watching TV. Do you think you would have come this far at this age? No, no. But I think it will take maybe one more year to fluent in this. Yes. So, and I, I quit all social media account last year <laughs> because of English. I, I think you already... No, but don't worry, you are on the right track. How do you see yourself in 10 years? I think I moved to London and speak English currently. Mm -hmm. And maybe I will visit Brazil through yes. with you because we are a good teacher who helps people like me. It's a pleasure. You, you are, I think, my favorite person in Hello Talk. Thank you so much. I am an official English teacher on Hello Talk now. If you want to have classes with me on Hello Talk, just try to find my courses there. How did English change your life? It will give me a lot of chance to meet a lot of people and do something in my career. Well, I will get a good job. I speak with a lot of people and watch a lot of contents in English. I just get into an English, you know, mm -hmm. from we're waking up to the till night. Just mm -hmm. each and everything speak in English. In India, if you speak English very well, then you will find a job easily. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you won't. I got you. Now I think we can go to the rapid round game and I will start and then you can ask me your questions, all right? Okay. Sir. So, my first question for you is, English is? No, for me. My family is? Everything for me. 
My friends are. Nein. Wow, that's nice. Traveling is. Is my life. If you had to describe yourself in one word, that word would be. I am introvert. Success is. Key of men's achievement. India is. A beautiful country. Everyone should visit India. Good. Now I am on the hot seat and you can ask me your question. What makes you started teaching English? I was very little and I saw a very famous singer on TV. And I turned to my father and I said, I want to go to school to learn English, to know what she's talking about. And then I started studying English and never left. Music gives us... Music gives us peace of mind. Yeah. And last, of course, what is your favorite word? My favorite word is tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, can you explain? I want to hear it from you. Yes. Uh, no matter what happens today, the sun will always shine tomorrow again. To finish, I always have a sentence, a quote, a takeaway. And for you is, and if it wasn't for the English language, I wouldn't be talking to you today. I wouldn't be able to tell your story on YouTube today. Never stop dreaming and never give up, no matter what. Yeah. Never let go of your dreams. If people come to you and say, you're never going to make it, you tell them, yes, I will. And keep going because you will. So don't give up. And to finish the interview, I have to say something to you. That is a word okay. in Hindi that I really like. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah. And I want to tell you one thing. It yes. was Jenny, really good talking to you. And uh, this is my first interview with any English speaking person. So I always remember this. Always. This interview will be on the channel. And it was a yeah, real pleasure. I keep it with you. Of course. This was my friend Manish from India. He's a great person. Thank you for being my student on Hello Talk and watching my live streams as well. We talk soon. Thank you. Yeah. See you. Thank you. Later. Bye. Good night. Bye. Hello, it's Rod's friend here, Gino from Real Everyday English. Sorry for interrupting your video. I just want to make a quick recommendation that you subscribe to Rodrigo's channel. He's an amazing guy. He's so humble. He's so dedicated and he creates absolutely fantastic content. See you people soon. Bye-bye. God bless.